Welcome to the Blender tutorial, import Cinti characters into Blender. Um, this is a little bit slower pace for those of you that are slightly new, like I was. Um, just a quick note on that. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started. We'll just highlight everything in the screen. We're going to go ahead and we're going to delete. And then in the top left corner, we'll go to File, Import. We're going to go down to FBX. Navigate to the folder where you've housed your characters and pick one before you import it. It's important that we go to the right. You're going to go down to Armature. You're going to check mark Ignore Leaf Bones and Force Child Connect. And then Import FBX. And voila! You got your giant mess of a character. Um, the problem with this is, is it's got some different rotation, scaling, and movement applied to it. To fix that, we go to Pose Mode. Make sure everything is highlighted and then click on pose and we're going to clear all this here. And now your character starts to come to life and pop into view. But we're not done yet. Let's go back to object mode. And as you can see in object mode, our scale is off a little bit. So is our rotation. What happens if we leave that, if we just highlight the bones, I'm just going to delete them just as a, just showing you guys, your character goes to really big. We'll undo that. Uh, we're going to make that to where it's more normal. So follow along with object. And we're going to apply all the location, rotation, and scaling that's currently on him. So now that that's applied, if we delete the bones, he stays normal. Um, then we'll go over into edit mode. Top left corner, edit. And we're just going to clear up some of these IK bones. We'll add them back later in a different video. For now, we're just going to get rid of a couple of them. If you go to the viewport shading tab, it'll give you a little bit more view on your bones here. You click them, just delete them one by one. We've got a hand there. We've got this giant one there. Another hand gun. And the left hand. And then a little bit lower, we've got our feet. We've got three of them down here, one points forward, one is pointing out the back, and then there's one right in the middle. Um, that does it for the IK bones. I like to clean up just a couple extra bones, starting with this one right here. This is your main controller bone. I'll just give you a quick example. If you go into pose, move your guy, you can move them all around. If you were to grab the bone above it, it stretches your character. So this one being so tiny, I like it to be a little bit larger. In edit mode, I just scale this up a little bit and then rotate along the x-axis and get it somewhere close. It doesn't need to be perfect. Moving up toward the head, I like to rotate the head bone back a little bit, again on the x-axis, and then move it back on the y. And the eyebrows and eyes, I like to do these two. Um, I like to do them individually, so I rotate it along the X because it gives them a little bit of a gap. And I like the eyebrows and eyes on top. So the eyebrows are up on top. Later on, when you go to move your character's eyebrows or eyes, they're in kind of a correct position. Move them back on the Y and then down on the Z axis. And there we have it. Your character is now imported into Blender. 